Hey everyone, Steve Poitras here. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at AHV synchronous replication and a cool new feature called cross-cluster live migration. So let's take a look. So here we have two Nutanix Prism Central instances. Uh, the first one on the left is called Castle Black, and the second one on the right is called Winterfell. So these are two separate PCs, uh, each managing their own Nutanix clusters and environments. Now, what we're going to be showing today is Nutanix Synchronous Replication, or AHV SyncRep, uh, which is built for AHV. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on Protection Policies. So we'll go ahead and select that. And here you can see I have two protection policies, one using just typical asynchronous replication, uh, but the second here is called Synchronous Protect. And here I can see I'm actually protecting from my local AZ, so essentially the environment managed by this PC domain. And I'm replicating to this Winterfell Prism Central over here on the right. Now, one of the key things is rather than your typical one day, one hour, one minute RPO, whether you're using asynchronous or near synchronous replication, uh, you can actually see here this is using purely synchronous rep. Uh, so what this means is this is actually going to give us an RPO zero which is a very nice thing because if you think about failure domains, failure domains typically consist of a node, a block, uh, a rack. In this case, it's a whole Nutanix cluster or data center. So essentially, as writes come into virtual machines protected by this policy, we'll obviously do the synchronous replication within the Nutanix cluster itself, obviously to facilitate node, block, or rack level failures, but we'll also replicate across to another target Nutanix cluster giving us the full ability to have zero data loss, hence that RPO zero, in the event a Nutanix cluster or availability zone goes completely down. So obviously to create one of these, we would just go to create protection policy. And obviously all the uh, inputs are all the exact same. The only thing that changes here is the policy type instead of being asynchronous, which is what we would use for your typical async or near sync. Um, there's just another option for synchronous replication, uh, which we've selected for that other policy. Now, if we go to our virtual machines, we can see we have this uh, two Rajiv uh, VMs here. And if we go ahead and click on this Rajiv Gaming 1 VM, and then click down to Recovery Points, we can actually see this is protected by that synchronous protect policy with a protection status of synced. So essentially what this means is all writes are being synchronized local to the cluster as well as uh, to the target uh, environment with an RPO synchronous. Now let's go ahead and go back here. So we can see we have these two virtual machines protected by the same policy. If we go over to our Winterfell cluster, we can see that it's actually having uh, zero virtual machines matching this Rajiv name criteria. So for this virtual machine, we can see that it has the IP address of 1048.3.253. So let's remember that. And I actually have a remote desktop session to this virtual machine. So you can see here 1048.3.253. Now, one of the nice things that synchronous replication for AHV gives us is not only the ability to have a true RPO zero and that data protection guarantee, uh, it also enables some very interesting features like cross-cluster live migration. And one of the benefits of cross-cluster live migration is there's zero downtime to the applications, to the operating systems, to the virtual machines or workloads actually running on the environments. So here we can actually shift a workload from one cluster to another uh, with zero impact to the applications actually running on that. So here I actually have a game uh, which I can interact with here. And obviously this is a live remote desktop session. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to live migrate this over to our target environment. So to do that, we just select this Rajiv Gaming 1 virtual machine. In our actions menu, we select the migrate option here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this will bring up the migrate dialog box. Now, as you can see, obviously we do do network mapping, which is inherited by the recovery plan. And you'll see this checkbox for live migration is checked. So essentially it knows that it is a synchronous protected virtual machine. So in that case, we can actually do a pure live migration. So that looks good. So let's go ahead and click on migrate. 
So while that's occurring, let's go ahead and uh, interact with this virtual machine. As you can see, I can still actually play this game. Uh, for those unaware, this is actually a game called WebScale Joe, which was developed by a few of our uh, rock stars probably about six or seven years ago. Um, so some pretty cool stuff. But as you can tell, you know, I'm able to play the game. Let's see if I actually die or not. So far, so good. And what you're going to be seeing is what we'll do is we obviously already have the data synced via synchronous replication. Uh, what we'll do on the back end is then sync the memory state between these two uh, source and target virtual machines. Then once that memory state is in sync, then we can actually perform the cutover. Um, so as you can see here, I've been interacting with this virtual machine. We can now see that that Rajiv Gaming 1 virtual machine now is not registered on our Castle Black PC or that cluster, uh, but is now running on our Winterfell AZ uh, in a different cluster uh, as part of that. And that's one of the nice benefits that synchronous protection, synchronous replication, and cross-cluster lab migration provides us is that ability to get that RPO0 across Nutanix environments, but also enables things like that cross-cluster lab migration. And as you can see, zero, in zero impact. You know, I can continue playing this game. I can kill some single point of failure FPGA cards. And unfortunately, it looks like I uh, need to play this game a little bit more, but you know, very simple with zero downtime to the application. So some very powerful stuff here, very exciting, and uh, yeah, much more to come here. All right, talk to you soon.